I hope everyone's having a great week. I just want to show you a new feature that's come out in the latest version of Nomad Sculpt, and it's called depth filtering. And if you've painted something with really cool alphas and you've got nice surface detail, then you might want to go back and paint into the cavities or on top of those raised areas. So let's take a look at the depth filtering in Nomad. So let's start working through what depth filtering is. So let's first of all make some surface details. So if we go to the tool that we use mostly for, for using alphas is stamp over here on the left. And then if you come down to your alphas, you should have a, a collection by now. I'm about to release a course with a load of these, 50 of these alphas in. So look out for that at the end of the video. Um, let's find one that's got some scales in it. So maybe something simple like this. And then before we draw on the surface, let's just do a couple of things. So we'll set the fall off. Um, I like to use it, I, I come down to fall off, which is up in the stroke. And then I always drop this to like a little table like that. And that gives us a nice flat surface. And then we double check we've got the alpha and we have the setting, the intensity setting quite, quite low. So, and symmetry off as well. So then drag it out and you can see it doesn't particularly do too well on the surface and we and we know why that is uh, it's because the the resolution is too low so let's turn post processing off as well while we're here so we can just have a look at it without anything else so you can see with wireframe on this is just a you know obviously it's a, it's a problem because it's a blocky surface so we come up to here and you can either do a voxel remesh or just use multi-res so we'll just use multi-res a couple of times to get some nice high definition and now when you do it you can see it gives you really cool effect straight away on the surface so this has been covered in quite a few of, of my videos so when you roll around you can see it's definitely affecting the geometry it's not a bump map or a normal map let's try another one just to show you and um, let's just try try one of these simple scale ones um there you go so you can see that and it just affects the surface. Watch how you, when you're using alphas like this, make sure you, you're careful how you cross them over. It's, it's not like you can project across the whole surface yet. So say, for example, you've got that now. I will go one higher on that so it's nice and smooth. And you've done some work on it. And say you want to paint on it. So you go to paint and you just pick a colour and come down with the intensity and just start painting. And that's what you'd expect. That's pretty much normally what you'd expect. But with this now, so if you come up to the top and look at depth filtering, you can go one of two ways on the depth filtering. So if I go up, I can just paint on anything that's high. So that's understanding where the model is raised up and it's then just allowing me to paint on the raised bits. Or I can go down like so not don't go too far and I'll change it to a red just so as you can see and I can paint in the lower areas so that if you were going to paint on for example a dinosaur and um, that would be perfect because that's going to give you the ability to do your scales and if at a later stage you want to change anything you can paint around those scales and you've got a slider that goes a lot you know it go, you know you, you can pick all different you know you you, you can have a play with that and, and find the level that picks up the detail that you want so if you've got different levels in your geometry you're going to get different effects um but the fact is now anytime you've used a really cool alpha you can now use a really cool paint effect so this is this is one of the things that i've, I've waited for for quite a while because it really helps me with what I do. So what do I do where it would help me? Well, I've just made a course about dinosaurs. So let's turn that one off. And we'll turn all these back on. And we'll take a look at what that means. So there's a dinosaur in Nomad. And let's move the lighting around a bit because I like to have a look in a different way like that. So this guy's already sculpted up. He's already... Uh, been um, painted he's got scales on from the alphas that that that, that we use um, but now I want to go and do a bit more painting so what can I do so first of all let's go really white with the color and we'll bring that 
alpha the depth filtering down low and we'll see what that does we'll do it a few times and just see what effect it has on something like this let me just check what resolution we're at here so it's quite high res i'm gonna i'm gonna try something on this machine now um and it might just smash it and crash it so if it does i'll come back but there you go i've gone really high res so this is ridiculously high res now for, for, for a model like this but i just thought i'd see if it worked um so now i can paint and I don't know whether you can see, but that's that's not picking up everything that I want. So maybe the depth filtering is not at the right sort of level for what I want. So we'll go, we'll try it, we'll go completely the other way. And I'll try a darker colour for a moment. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is just switch off the alpha for, for a moment. Just make sure that we're using n nothing at all. So let's see what that does. And that's not bad straight away. So that is helping me pick out. I'll go a little bit higher. Uh, sorry, a little bit lower. And a little bit higher intensity. And I'll change this to a bit more of a browny colour. And let's pick out some more of those scales. Maybe coming around here. So you can see here, when I painted this one, I just painted over and it, and it doesn't look realistic. But if you can now just pick out the... You know, by changing your depth filtering, you can pick out where you want to, the height on top of the scales that you want to paint. It's almost like a cavity mask. Um, well, it is a cavity mask, I suppose, which means you're masking out the cavity at this point. Um, let me just show you over here on this part of the body. See there, it's giving me all kinds of effects. Like that, let's go, let's go the other way now. Let's go lower and go back to, let's just do a stupid colour like orange just to see what we get. And this is probably too far now, but look at that. So that almost is picking up, um, it, you know, it's dropping that colour right into that cavity, which is something that, you know, that that, that is super useful for me. I'll try changing the um, fall off a little bit. And what we'll do is we'll do a, like a, we'll, we'll, in fact, no, I'll use a custom one, a preset one. I'll just have a nice curve like that. So we've got a, like a bell curve and see if that affects it. Which it kind of does. It kind of floods it a little bit. So I probably would go back to the other, but it's 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 not a complete disaster. Um, you, you know, finding your settings is part of, of the ex experimentation of these kind of tools. There you go. You can see it flooding in there. So th that for me, uh, when I'm working in, obviously I wouldn't want a bright orange um, T-Rex on his back there, but you, you can see the potential here. The, the, this makes it a much more powerful texturing option for you. Um, you know, no, you know w when, you're, when you're doing scale work or detail work or anything of, of, of this kind of nature. Um, and that's just been released in the latest version of Nomad. So get, get, get your Nomad updated and um, you, you, you're good to go. We're about to send an offer out to anyone who's bought any of our previous courses and we're going to give you a discount for the new course, which is how to sculpt a Tyrannosaurus Rex on your iPad. It's available to anyone who's already got the first course from today and to everybody else. If you just look out in the next few days, we're going to release it in um, less than five days to, to the whole community. So if it's something you are interested in, there's a link down below for you to register your interest and we'll send you an email to say when it's launched. And also you can get a, a, a free STL of the um, posed T-Rex head that we, we showed printing in or 3D printing in recent videos. So look down in the links below in the in the description and you'll find a link to that email list if you're not already on it. I hope you're enjoying these videos and if you are, please consider giving us a thumbs up. We make these videos on a Wednesday and a Friday every week and it really does help us if you give us a thumbs up and we can get in front of more artists and show our, our videos and our content to, to more and more people. If it's something that you're liking, make sure you subscribe. We've got lots of offers coming in the next few months and I'd like to be able to get you included in those offers when we get, we're gonna get some sponsorship and some nice product to give away. And also make sure you hit that notification bell so we can let you know when the next video drops. Have a great week, everyone.